everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with another ultimate edition review from mattel it is the brand new wwe ultimate edition mr t figure if you'd like to grab this figure you can't do so over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent over there i do not think it's in stock you do have to pre-order it if you guys did miss the pre-order window it is available though you can go get in on the pre-order so you don't miss out on this guy i'm actually excited about this figure i've always liked mr t i've always liked his charisma i've always liked what he's got going on this is our third elite slash ultimate edition that we have gotten here from mattel and this may be the best mr t figure that has ever been made in any iteration i should say so this should be really fun to do but you guys can see here front viewing window ultimate edition logo you do have mr t at the top of course on the side you get a beautiful image of mr t here which looks good he's got his gold chains and his camo looking fly mr t down here on the back you get some cool action shots actually of you know kind of a replication of the match there with roddy piper so you got roddy piper there roddy piper down here looking good got some bio read you also have the little sentences there. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it right now. Airplane spinning it around. You got Mr. T on the side there. Ultimate Edition logo. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this Mr. T Ultimate Edition action figure, man. So with those things being covered and everything like that, let's go ahead and crack him out of the packaging and see how he measures up, not only to Hulk Hogan, but how he measures up to the rest of our Mr. T WWE figure collections. And here's Mr. T out of his packaging looking pretty swell. I love with the butterfly joints, you can get a pretty decent arms crossed sort of deal there. I, I, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but I still think that it looks really damn good. But Mr. T looks cool, man. Very unique figure going around. Again, I've always loved the Mr. T, so the more figures we get of him, I'm all good with it. I know a lot of people had issues with getting an Ultimate Edition Mr. T. Maybe this video will change your mind, or maybe it'll confirm that uh, you didn't want this figure. So we'll see how those things go, man. But how we work through the Ultimate Edition reviews, we're going to going to dive into their accessories first then we're going to dive into the figure itself but with all those things being said man let's go ahead and dive into mr t's accessories so diving into mr t's accessories man quite a slew of stuff i think this is actually i mean i don't know you know you get you do get a championship belt but you also get a cool accessory with him or a couple cool accessories compared to that of hulk hogan but let's dive into these head sculpts man starting out we do have our new mr t head here where he's doing like a stink face sort of and looking off to the right i think it's good i, I like this a lot nice beard texture going around i think they captured it quite well I, this is cool stuff right here i like the beard i like you know all the different hair texture going around low-key want to get an extra mr t head and make him bald or something i think it'd make for a really cool figure but he, he looks good i like this new head sculpt now i also have his older head sculpt now you guys can see i do have some like white paint somehow chipped on there from something i'll have to take care of that but this looks just like our stcc exclusive head and our two-pack with roddy piper head also have some paint missing right here on the mohawk don't know what's up with that a lot of beard chipping and stuff i don't know what's up with that i mean i could fix that but it's kind of annoying but i like the head sculpt nonetheless now i do have this new hat accessory that says hulkamania on it it's red it's got yellow wrapping around in stripes do believe he wore this in the entrance of this wrestlemania one you know matchup here and putting it on the head i think that looks pretty damn good i think it fits well and all nice i don't know if this is the same exact sculpt as a previous like john cena or something i don't think it is it doesn't look like that wrestlemania 34 elite hat it actually is quite different there so i think this is a newly sculpted hat fits the figure well i'll be interested to see if it does fit john cena or not we also have our little workout bar here very nice sculpting on this guy you guys know they used to like do this to you know like it's, it gives you an at-home workout right there you got the wrist wraps it looks like got your handlebars you got the the nice spring on there very nice colors it looks just like the item i've i've, I've exercised with one of these before it was a long time ago when i was a kid but still it looks exactly how it looks here so that's pretty nice we have mr t's chains here you got the heart with the arrow through it you got like a nice little portrait there you got another piece down here that i can't really tell what it is but very nice stack of chains and i think we have seen this before i think it's the exact same sculpt that we saw with the sdcc you know mr t elite the gold is slightly different maybe more of a realistic gold right here but i still like it he also comes with a cross necklace that matches hulk hogan's so they come with the same cross necklace they also come with the same shirt as hulk hogan right here the the sleeveless hulkamania shirt i do believe he also wore this in his entrance so that's pretty cool there if you didn't want to use it on your mr t now you'll have another hulkamania shirt to throw in your you know your elite hulk hogan's and other hulk hogan action figures that you have so that's pretty cool and it is rip away same thing that's nice you know he doesn't come with a championship but he does come with this sick ass robe and this nice red colorway and it has a nice little velvet material going on and it also has the waist wrap tied around the back there but this is a very high quality item again you don't get a championship but you do get this nice robe and this could fit a slew of figures so this is very good and quality man this is the stuff we love to see with our ultimate editions i love like the way it feels in hand it's just a great accessory that's going to 
fit the figure well. We will see what it looks like at the end of the video, so stay tuned to see what it looks like with all his accessories on him, but he's looking pretty good here. I, I like this a lot. This is never going to get old. And then you do get interchangeable fisted hands and interchangeable mic holding hands for Mr. T. All right, man, so starting off at the top of the head sculpt, we do have the Mr. T head we just took a look at. You know, it's nothing too out of the ordinary because we just took a look at it. It looks good on the body. I like the way it looks. Going down into the torso, I like it. I do believe this is just the Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. I almost want to say it's the Stone Cold Steve Austin figure all the way down except for the arms. They did give him slightly bigger arms, I think, than the Stone Cold figure because this looks a lot more proportionate than the Stone Cold figure did, but I do like the way it looks. He does have white wrist tape. He has his red trunks going on with the two white stripes going down the side, which is cool. He has his open knee pads with the white circles and the white going around, which is pretty cool as well. And the stripes, I do like how the stripes go all the way down, which is nice. And then he does have his gold short boots with the black outsoles in the blue and red laces. Now, this is why I say it's a Stone Cold figure, man. I mean, look at it. It's literally like the formula from head to toe, except for maybe the arms and head sculpt. But I do like the figure a lot. Like, I, I just like the way the musculature looks. I, I like the way the Mr. T head looks. You know, a lot of people didn't want this figure, but at the same time, I love it, man. Like, look at him. He, he just looks like a beast. I'm gonna be beating the hell out of fools. I mean, that's what he does. Now, for your Mr. T figure comparisons, here is all three of our big time Mr. T action figures. I do believe we're getting a basic, and I do believe we're getting, or we've already gotten a WWE of the Universe, or, you know, Masters of the WWE Universe figure from Mattel, but uh, this looks great. I love the SDCC exclusive. I love the Ultimate Edition, and I do love the two-pack. I think they all bring something different to the table, and I like them all three, so uh, they're definitely milking out the Mr. T's. This will probably be our last Mr. T. I don't imagine us getting another one, you know, after we've seen an Ultimate Edition, an SDCC exclusive, a two-pack. I mean, what, what else are they going to do? You know, I, I feel like we have reached our limit of Mr. T figures. He, you know, he, he hasn't been around in a long time as far as WWE is concerned, and I think that we have captured that, and we'll see where it goes. We may get more in the future, but I think it has wrapped up how many, you know, Mr. T figures we're going to get from Mattel, but we shall see. You know, and never say never in the world of wrestling, whether that's professional wrestling as a whole or action figure wrestling. And then for one more comparison, you got to compare the two, right? We have to see the brand new Ultimate Edition Hogan up next to the Ultimate Edition Mr. T, and I think they look great together, especially, you know, all dressed up in their accessories. I think that will look fantastic. This looks awesome, man. I I'm really impressed with both of these figures. Glad to do a review of both of them here on the channel, and I'm glad they both got their own video. So if you guys missed out on Hulk Hogan's review, definitely go check it out. But Mr. T and Hulk Hogan are looking damn good. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Mr. T Ultimate Edition review, man. Had a lot of fun with it. I think it's great. I love all the accessories that we're getting here. I love how he looks with all this garb on, you know, his, his robe and his necklaces and his hat and his Hulkamania shirt. He's looking damn good, man. I think he looks pretty sweet going to the ring there. Gold boots matching the gold chains. I think Mr. T is walking out in swag, and I think you need to add this figure to your collection, man. If you missed out on the SDCC and the two-pack one, this one's a no-brainer. You gotta add this Mr. T. I think it's probably the best Mr. T, right? Like, I really love the SDCC with the finger rings and the gauntlets and stuff, but this one's really sweet as well, and I think if you want a Mr. T, this is probably the one to get, it being, you know, all the different bonuses you do get with him. I enjoy this one a lot, and this one can wrestle. Not that the other ones can't wrestle, but this one's pretty damn cool, man. I enjoy it. If you guys would like to pre-order it, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but that wraps it up on this figure. I think that after reviewing both, Hulk Hogan is better, but I still like the Mr. T a lot. You guys know that the Mr. T Elite SDCC figure was one of my favorite figures from 2020, if I'm not mistaken. So this is, you know, this is great. I, I like it a lot, and I think that it can compete with the rest of your Ultimate Edition collection. Really fun figure, man. You definitely want to add it, so go do those things, man. But I am getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the review. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for checking it out. Let me know your thoughts on this figure down below. Do you think we need any more Mr. T's? I'm going to say no. I think we're good now. But at the same time, you guys know that money talks and bullsh walks, and we'll see if we get any more. But thank you for watching, guys. Leave me your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a blessed day. You crossed the line. I've been